I'm Kirsten Wise, Extension Specialist for Field Crop Diseases at Purdue University, and we're here in an Indiana cornfield today to discuss the disease northern corn leaf blight. Now, northern corn leaf blight is a fungal disease that is common most years in Indiana. However, this year, the mild temperatures, frequent rainfall, and humid days with heavy dews have led the disease to become more prevalent than it typically is. Now, northern corn leaf blight can be diagnosed by finding these long elliptical lesions that can be found in the cornfield. You can see they're, they're long, we call them cigar-shaped, and they kind of have an oblong appearance that are going to be tan. You can see them here, they expand um, parallel along the veins and can spread out across several leaf veins. Where we come into problems with diagnosis is when the lesions coalesce or join together and it can form large areas of blighted tissue on the leaf. These can be sometimes confused with the lesions of Goss's wilt, which is a bacterial disease. The areas where Goss's wilt is prevalent in Indiana are also some of the areas that we're seeing most of the northern corn leaf blight outbreaks. So it's important to get a good diagnosis to determine which you have before selecting a management option. To diagnose northern, again, we're looking for those long lesions. If you have a hand lens early in the morning and you look in the center of this lesion, you might be able to see some of the fungal spores of the fungus that causes northern corn leaf blight. With Goss's wilt, we consider that the primary characteristic diagnostic symptoms to be the freckling or the black specks that are found along the lesions, along with some of the water soaking and also some of the shine of the bacterial exudate that can be on the leaf surface. If you're not sure which disease you might have, please send a sample to the Purdue Plant and Pest Diagnostic Lab for an accurate and quick diagnosis. The reason we want to distinguish between Goss's wilt and northern corn leaf blight is because fungicides are an option for managing northern corn leaf blight, but fungicides will not have efficacy against Goss's wilt. Our in-season management options for northern corn leaf blight are limited to fungicides. To select a product with efficacy against northern corn leaf blight, please refer to the Corn Disease Working Group Fungicide Efficacy Table. There are out-of-season management options that we can do to prevent northern corn leaf blight from becoming problematic in future years. You can select hybrids that have resistance to this disease and also practices to minimize the amount of residue in the field will help because the fungus that causes northern corn leaf blight survives in residue. Those would include practices like tillage and crop rotation to reduce the amount of the fungus that would be available to infect the following corn crop. 